the God particle. Pain and suffering isn't something I want to escape. I want to capture it. Bottle it like an antidote that I can use to cure the world. Learn of the medicinal properties behind its poison. Study the very essence of its negativity. Antimatter's God particle. The Higgs boson, the opposite of opposite, the negative of negative. But do I need CERN when I have a heart? The beat of which can be felt pulsing through my entire frame, the structure of my creator shaking with each beat. Particles crashing together as life's blood is pushed into the corners of my being. Do you know what I can do with love? Ask the Prince of Peace of this God particle and he will ask you, why hast thou forsaken me? Are there not lamentations for the sufferer? A pain that had the Christ crying out for his Lord. Could it be that the only time Christ felt truly abandoned by God was when he became his perfect opposite? Is it fear and love that conflict? Or does it boil down even further? What is hate if not fear? What is fear if not suffering? What is suffering if not forsaken love? the abandonment of God. So what happens when God hath forsaken me? Ask CERN how fast a particle must travel to kill a man and save the world, and they'll say, very fast. But what of love? The breaking of bread and the pouring of wine? Broken bodies, spilled blood? Each act of remembrance is of suffering, not love. Or isn't it? Can it be the ultimate portrayal of love is found in the ultimate portrayal of suffering? Balance, matter and antimatter, Jesus and God, suffering and love. One is of the earth and the other is home. Your heart knows how to be spirit, your mind knows how to be Christ and your soul well, does it know that it's a child of God? Should the apple fall far from the tree? Would it know that it is part of the Holy Trinity? You will tell me I am at blasphemy's gate, but you forget who you are, O ye of little faith. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these. Pain cannot touch man if man knew what it was, is. Because through love, man can transform pain, transform pain with love, disease with love, hatred, fear, greed. I will bottle the pain of man and I will collect the tears of the children of God and remind them from whence they came. Nothing can hurt you, for you are already saved. Saved not from death, not from suffering, but from the knowledge that it has any power over you. To know, truly know, that through him, through love, you can experience heaven on 